Okay, so here I I have uh, both Filmora 10 and Filmora 9 running on my computer at the same time. Uh, so this is Filmora 10. You can see here, go to have and about, and uh, I'm currently at the version 10.1.2. And this is Filmora, Filmora 9. So go to have, check the about, and it is the version 9.6.1.8. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, keep both Filmora 9 and Filmora 10 uh, on your computer. So the reason for that is that uh, when you are using Filmora 9 and you don't want to uh, upgrade to Filmora 10 at this time because maybe you are afraid of the crash and not responding or you may lose your project or something like that. Uh, if you are, mm, also, if you are, you are editing a video on uh, a long project or uh, for your friends or something on Filmora 9 and you still want to keep it, but you still want to try Filmora 10 because there are, there are some features in Filmora 10 that you love to use like motion tracking, color match, and also other stuff like animation keyframe and updating and, and something, okay? So to, that, to do that, uh, actually it is very easy. Okay, so uh, let's close this guys. First, close this one. No. And this one is Filmora 10. No. So when you install the software on your computer, there's a folder. There's a folder in, in the installation destination that you need to copy that folder to your to other hard drive. Uh, on the same computer is okay or you can just uh, copy it to an external drive and that will keep the current version uh, of Filmora 9 that you are using okay so it's out a little bit uh, <laughs> I don't know okay so now I'm going to show you how to find uh, find that folder so that you can copy to your, your external drive so the first thing I want to show my desktop uh, but it is a little bit messy by the way it's okay uh, show your desktop icon uh, so remember here, I already uh, create a, a desktop, a shortcut on my desktop. So when I move my mouse here, I can see them. I can see the location of the installation folder. So it will be in C program files, Wondershare slash Wondershare Filmora, right? And I need to to remember this part uh, to to find the folder. By the way, I just uh, right click. Uh, and then uh, I'm going to find the location, open file location to find this, uh, this folder. So this installation folder uh, on my computer. Remember, you have two folder. One is installation folder and you need to copy that in installation folder to another, another drive to keep uh, Filmora on your computer or maybe somewhere. Okay. And there's another folder called uh, Filmora, Wondershare Filmora, but it is the proxy, the render files, and install effect, and and other other stuff. So don't copy that because the, that is related to user. Okay, so all these things uh, here at the C program files, Wondershare, Wondershare Filmora. So this is Filmora 10, but you do the same with Filmora 9. So it will be Wondershare Filmora 9 or some or some stuff like that. Uh, for example, go back to Filmora, and then you need to copy this one uh, let's see the property first so it it will be here uh, Filmora 10 is about about uh, 800 uh, megabyte but Filmora 9 is only about uh, 600 or 650 megabyte okay and then you click OK and now you can copy copy this one for example I have a, an SSD um, this here so I'm uh, going to uh, copy this one uh, paste it right here okay so I finished copying it to my uh, SSD so now I can even run multiple uh, Filmora version on my computer uh, just do this the double click here and then find the application file down here uh, this is Filmora 10 1 okay and here is the Filmora 9 folder on my uh, my e drive okay and double click on that and we have two Filmora version on the same computer like this very nice right you can just even work with this one and 
Primora 9 and this is Primora 10. So the, that is technically uh, technically how you can uh, can keep two versions of Fimora on your computer. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any question, let me know at the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye and see you again.